There's one. On the nymph. Just a little dude. Very little dude. Barbless nymph. Beauty. See ya. Right. I'm making the best cast. So. I might have to twitch my dry fly around a little bit. I've got something that's maybe two to five. To oh, there's one. Nice. <laughs> that was good. Do you see how much that thing just hammered that dry fly? Yeah. Camera might die mid fight, but I'm still glad I got that aggressive strike from this little stalker right here. All right, little dude. How you doing? Thanks for taking my dry. Wow, what a pretty fish as well. There's little dude right there. See ya. I just got smacked. There he is. Got him. Hey there, little dude. An awesome little rainbow. See you later, buddy. I hope that happens. That would have been a hell of a thing to get on camera. It looks like it might even be going for another go. But on the other side of the lake, there's a guy fishing in a canoe and he just had an eagle swoop down and either try to or successfully steal his fish. The eagle was in the water for like 10 seconds. That's crazy. Right beside his canoe and he was like thrashing the net to try and scare it off. That was, that was crazy. I think that eagle may have done that before and had some success. Yeah. That may be a thing he does. I brought leaky waders to a cold, windy lake. Pretty much to the point now that I'm not going to be getting back in the float tube, at least for the moment. So I'm going to have a little shore lunch in the meantime. I actually managed to hook something shore fishing from this island on a new quarter ouncer here, and I lost it. No, I want to know what that was. It was like pretty close too, and it did not feel like a bad fish. Could have even been a bass, I have no idea. There are smallmouth in this lake. What do we got here? Ooh, we got a nice trout. Let's see if we can land him here. I don't know, maybe. Got him. Beauty little bow. There's one. Oh, lost him. That felt like a good take. Oh, one just took off. This is a really beautiful shot. Got the 
the mountains, the reflection on the glass calm water. Oh, it's the second time I've seen that fish jump way out there on a point and something out there rose just pretty big. Yep, there's another surface. Same spot, another one. Same fish just surfaced again. Quite far offshore though, not the one that was off the point. And there's the one off the point again. Okay, I've got to get out here, folks. I've either got to troll this fly around or switch to something a little lighter and troll that around. I've just got to cover water here because I'm seeing fish jump everywhere. They've got to be eating these dry flies. I'll, yeah, I can see some on the water. Some dry flies are on the water. Oh, there's another one surfacing off the point. Man, where'd you go, Mr. Dry Fly Eater? I finally sight fished one. I actually saw a rise cast to it and got him to bite with my little light weighted fly. That was cool. I wish I, uh, I should have recorded that really, but it was kind of a quick thing. Oh, that's a decent fish. Not a bad one at all. Very nice one. Hey there, little dude. Let me land ya. Whoa, in between my legs. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... That was almost a problem. Still might be a problem. He's all wrapped in my fly line and everything here, but I think we got him slightly more under control. There he is. So that is what is eating all these dry flies out here is uh, wild cutthroat trout. And they are just little buttes. Go eat some more dry flies, buddy. This fish managed to get my fly line all sorts of wrapped up in my boots and all that. Oh, well, back to trolling. It was especially nice to get that fish casting to it and doing some, you know, kind of aggressive little streamer twitches. I'd like to sight fish another one. I think the rises might have stopped actually, though. I think they did. That was like maybe a, wow, that was an abrupt stop. That was like 30, 40 minutes of just rises every couple of seconds everywhere. There's a fish. Got him. Another one. Here we go. Not bad. Coming straight towards me, though. Come on, buddy. Do something other than swim this way. <laughs> Probably not a big guy. Could have a little bit of fight in him. Just came straight towards me, though. I don't think it's big. Oh, it's very tiny. It's incredibly little. Hey there, you little dink. Come on in. Let me release ya. Come on, you need to grow. Go eat some more dry flies. I'll stop bugging ya. See ya. Got one trolling now too. Looks like that'll work. Hopefully, possibly will work for a bigger fish too. Maybe. <laughs> I spy with my little eye another fish that just rose. Oh, there's that riser again right close to the point. I couldn't get this one to bite that was further out, but I'm going to see if I can go and get that one that's right off the point. Okay, there's another riser in a different spot. So there's two here, but that one did look small. I don't care though. I would love to sight cast another one of these things. Okay, I'm getting absolutely freezing here. I've got leaky waders. It's getting dark. Oh, I was just about to say it's time to call it, but a fish surfaced in casting distance right beside me. No, my leader didn't unfurl correctly. What? I thought that cast was so good. Oh, that cast would have been perfect. No. No way. Okay, well, I couldn't catch that fish that just surfaced, but it's time to call it. I'm freezing. I have leaky waders. It's real dark. I don't know what the f I think I'm doing out here. I'm an absolute Guggen, as you can, I'm sure, tell from these videos. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to call it for tonight.